We are inviting you to join us in giving praise and worship to our Lord who is our champion. To Him, anything is possible. So why don't you open up your mouth, lift up your hands wherever you are and give glory alone to our God who is able, who is powerful. Oh God, we give you praise, we give you glory, God, today. For you deserve all of this. You deserve all of this, Jesus, 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 only the name. Jesus will be lifted up. Praise. 
so we rest our hearts we have this confidence in our God come on we sing this all of my fear I will turn into praise shake up this prayer as I sing out your name all victory dance thou will dance out in faith I will crush disappointment and break every chain now all of my fear I will turn into praise shake up this prayer as I sing out your name all victory dance thou will dance out in faith I will crush disappointment Silence me, Jesus, Jesus. 
of Jesus you are our head of our Jesus oh God oh we bless your name come on let's continue to worship our God today
given us the authority all the authority is given to Jesus and Jesus has given us this authority and now we have the power to proclaim his victory here in this world we have the power to proclaim the victory over our family we have the power to proclaim the victory in this church in our nation so right now God we bring it to you Lord we lay it down in your name Lord Jesus indeed we are the house of miracles all of us all of us are breathing walking talking praising house of miracles that's who we are and now as we are gathering together in faith professing proclaiming declaring the power of God and the miracle of God to move to move to move in our houses today yes Lord we claim we claim, we claim that our house, our house is a miracle. This church is a house of miracle. This church is a house of grace. This church, oh Lord God, is a house where your name is being glorified, where the demons are tremble. Oh, come on, just lift up your voice. Come on, houses of miracles. Honor the King, praise the King, worship the King. Oh, all the 
sickness and disease come out get out in the name of Jesus bow down bow down bow down in the name of Jesus those who feel dead will come alive will come alive will come alive those who are distressed thank you for the peace thank you for the joy those who are in lack a supernatural provision God there's supernatural provision happening right now Lord oh come on just lift up your hands just lift up your hands before God and worship and begin to thank the Lord for your miracles today thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus we claim the victory we claim the victory we claim the victory come on church for the last time we're gonna sing this song and play. Oh, hallelujah. Yes, yes, come on. Oh, we're gonna be there. Come alive in the name of Jesus. Come alive in the name of Jesus. This is a house of miracles. We bring everything to the feet of Jesus. Amen. What a wonderful, wonderful time of worship. Amen. Before we go on with, with our message, we just want to make a quick announcement that the church, New Life North Metro, we are going to begin something new for the church. Uh, what is it? It is called our storehouse, our storehouse ministry. You guys have been hearing about the community pantry and how people have been bringing food for those who have more than enough and how people... Uh, who are in need would come and receive from those who have more than enough. Uh, we believe that's just the heart of God. We believe that's how God desires it to be, that those who have more are able to give and those who have less are able to receive. You know, the Bible says in Malachi 3.10, Bring all the tithes into the storehouse so that there may be food in my house. You know, I praise God you, that you as a church, you continue to give. You, even in spite of everything that's going on this over a year pandemic, you have not relented in giving your tithes. But also it says, the one thing I want to focus on is that there may be food in God's house. And where is the food in God's house? It's in the storehouse. So what do we want to do? We want to encourage you guys, you who are a part of our New Life North Metro family. If you believe that you have more than enough and you're looking for an avenue to be a blessing, we are opening our storehouse. This is the metro space. We will be open every day now, starting tomorrow, 
every day throughout the week we will be open so you can come and you can bring if you have extra food and extra canned goods or extra things that you would like to bless uh, ang mga kapatiran natin na may, may kulang or may, are, are looking for a need to be filled you may come and bring it here uh, anytime Monday through Sunday during mall hours we will be open and we will be here to receive and who will this go to? It will also go to this house, the house of God, people from North Metro. So if you are maybe one of those people that are looking and you're thinking, Lord, I may be in quarantine now. Maybe my whole father, family is in quarantine and we have no way for us to get food. And, and we, we just need help. You're crying out to God. Let me tell you, the Lord hears you and the Lord answers our prayers. But let us know if you can contact us by emailing us at northmetro at newlife.ph. Remember that, northmetro at newlife.ph. Or send a personal message. Don't do it in the comment page. Do Send us a personal message. We will see what we can do. We cannot promise that we will meet every need, but we will see what we can do. We will try our best to meet every need. And I believe this is a call to action that God has placed in our heart as a church. You know, I'm taking this from the book of Acts. Chapter 4, verse 32. And I want to read that scripture to you right now. The book of Acts, chapter 4, verse 32. Now, the multitude of those who believed were in one heart and had one soul, and neither did anyone say anything that he possessed was his own, but they had all things in common. Meaning, if I had more than enough and I see my brother and my sister has less, then I don't see it as mine. I'm not going to hoard it. I'm not going to be selfish. But I'm going to be a help. I'm going to be blessed to be a blessing. I like the book and just the, the verse itself. It says Acts. And then it says 4, 3, 2. And the whole theme of it is about being one. So when I look at it, it's a call to action. And now we begin in 4, 3, 2, 1. What are you waiting for, church? If you believe God is speaking to your heart, let us know. Or just bring your, your abundance, bring your goods to the storehouse so that we can be a blessing to those in need. Now, as we are doing that, praying about that, I, I want to pray with you. And after I pray, let's just stand up, go around, and hug one another and greet one another in this spirit of oneness. Lord God, I thank you that you have placed this in our heart and you've caused this to come alive in us, Lord God. And this is something, it is a call to action for the church that if we have more than enough, Lord, we thank you that we can be an avenue of blessing and that, that we can bring all of our overflow into the storehouse so that those who are in need in this house, those who are in need in this house can be able to, to be a part or to receive from the abundance that you have placed in my house. Lord, we thank you, Lord God, for this opportunity. We love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Also, one way if you're thinking of how am I going to be able to get in contact with the church, if you have a life group leader, let your life group leader know and your life group leader will get in contact with us. Amen. So with that, everybody just stand up, go around, hug one another, greet one another with the love of the Lord.
Amen. Magandang hapon po sa ating lahat. Ayan, and welcome po sa ating Taglish service. And like what Pastor Ed uh, said a while ago, kami po'y nagpapasalamat. Thank you for choosing New Life North Metro, your home. And thank you for partnering with us as we reach more people. And yes, salamat po sa inyo pong uh, generosity na tayo po ay able na magbigay ng tulong. Amen. Especially sa mga members natin or pamilya natin na nahihirapan during this time of pandemic. And so, I just wanna, we just want to thank you in behalf of our pastors, Pastor Eds, Pastor Amara, and the leadership of New Life North Metro. Thank you for your generosity. And I believe, we believe na kapag tayo po ay patuloy na nagbibigay, ang pangako ng Diyos ay patuloy niya tayo na pagpapalain. Dahil alam natin na ang dahilan kung bakit tayo pinagpapala ng Diyos ay upang tayo rin ay maging pagpapala sa iba. Amen? Maging pagpapala sa iyong pamilya, maging pagpapala sa iyong uh, komunidad. Amen? Sa mga tao, sa mga kaibigan mo na nangangailangan ng tulong. And so we just want to thank you once again for your uh, generosity. Amen? Well, uh, I'm, uh, I believe na kayo po, tayo po ay handa ng uh, makinig ng salita ng Panginoon. But before that, amen, alam po natin na ang araw na to ay very uh, sp- uh, special, napaka-espesyal because uh, today we are celebrating Mother's Day. Ayan, so to all the mothers out there, ayan, especially sa mother ko, ayan, I want I wanna take this opportunity to greet my mom. Um, happy, happy Mother's Day to you. Alam niyo po, yung aking pong mama, uh, siya yung unang naging, uh, siya yung unang nakakilala sa Panginoon, sa, sa aming, sa family namin. And we're so blessed dahil uh, nung siya ay nakakilala sa Panginoon, dinala niya kami, yung kanyang mga anak, yung mga pasaway. <laughs> Actually, ako yung pinakapasaway <laughs> na anak niya. Dati, ha, dati yun, <laughs> ayan, na binago ng Panginoon. I'm just so grateful, thankful, And, and I really honor my mom for her uh, uh, passion, for her dedication, not just to take care of us, but to also lead us, you know, sa Panginoon. Amen. So I love you, Ma. Mahal na mahal ka namin. And to all the mothers out there, uh, happy, happy Mother's Day. And of course, ayan, speaking of Mother's Day, we also want to honor the mother of this great house. Ayan. We just want to greet A happy Mother's Day to Pastora Mara Morales. Ayan, maraming maraming salamat po. You know, si Pastora Mara, kinoconsider ko yan na uh, as my, my spiritual uh, mother. Ayan, kahit bata pa yan ni Pastora, di ba? Pero grabe, kanina lang uh, after lunch, uh, she was actually sharing something sa amin and mga practical wisdom about life. And, and I want to thank Pastor Amara for, not just for her wisdom, but for her life na talagang uh, binibigay niya yung buhay niya uh, para, sa mga, para sa atin. Amen? And so we're so grateful and we love you, Pastor, and we honor you. Amen? Well, I'm sure you guys are so excited na na makinig ng salita ng Panginoon. Ang, tayo po ngayon ay nasa series about roots of character. And this morning, Pastor, Pastor Ed talks about uh, anger. At yun rin po yung ating pag-uusapan. Alright, sa hapon na ito, pag-uusapan natin, paano ba natin ma-overcome yung anger? Alright, how do we overcome anger? How how to deal with anger? Alright, so, abuksan natin yung ating mga Biblia, dito po sa Matthew chapter 5, verse 5. At babasahin ko po siya sa Tagalog. Sabi po dito, mapalad ang mga mag, ang mapagpakumbaba sapagkat mamanahin nila ang daigdig. Alright? Sa ibang sa ibang salin, kapatid, ay mapalad ang mga taong merong pusong mahinahon. Alright? Pusong mahinahon sapagkat manan, mananah, mamanahin nila ang daigdig. Alright? So, as we talk about uh, anger, and for the past uh, few Sundays, sa mga nakalipas na Sunday, mga kapatid, ay ating nalaman or ating naunawaan, kapatid, na nung tayo ay hindi pa naligtas. Amen? Nung hindi pa natin tinanggap ang ating Panginoon bilang sarili nating uh, Panginoon at tagapagligtas, tayo ay alipin ng kasalanan. Amen? At meron tayo yung tinatawag na sinful nature. 
Alright? Dahil sa kasalanan ng, dahil sa pag, sa, sa, dahil sa, dis, dahil sa pag disobey ng tao sa Diyos, pumasok yung kasalanan. At yung kasalanan ay nagdulot ng kamatayan. Amen? At dahil doon kapatid, tayo bilang mga tao, even though he, uh, tayo ay uh, hindi pa natin nakikilala noon si Adan at saka si, si, si Eva kapatid, yung kanilang kasalanan ay napunta rin sa atin. Kung baga ito ay parang naging generational curse. But thanks be to God because of Jesus, amen, nung si Jesus ay pumunta dito sa lupa, siya ay namatay sa cross, hallelujah, upang bayaran yung kasalanan natin. At upang tanggalin yung ating sinful nature, mga kapatid, at palitan ng isang nature na matuwid. Yes, kapag ikaw at ako, kapatid, ay tumanggap sa Panginoon at sinabi natin na siya na ang ating, ating, ating Panginoon at tagapagligtas. You know, two things, that, two things that happen at salvation. Binigyan niya tayo ng eternal life. Aren't you glad, kapatid, na meron tayong eternal life? Binigyan niya tayo ng isang, uh, binigyan tayo ng eternal life. And aside from that, binigyan niya tayo ng bagong buhay. That's why yung buhay na meron ka ngayon, kapatid, yan ay buhay mula sa Diyos. Amen? Isang buhay na ganap at kasiyasiya. Alright? Binigyan niya tayo ng bagong puso or bagong espiritu. That's why ikaw ay bago ng nilalang. Hindi na ikaw yung dati mong pagkatao. Yung dati mong pagkatao ay kasamang naipako doon sa cross. At ngayon, ikaw ay meron ng katwiran. Amen? Ikaw ay naging matuwid. Hindi dahil sa ating mga mabuting gawa or sa ating effort, mga kapatid. No! Tayo ay naging matuwid dahil sa ating Panginoong Yesus. Dahil sa kanyang sakripisyo. Amen? So ngayon, kapatid, tayo ay meron ng uh, we have a righteous nature. But Still, habang tayo ay nandito sa lupa, kapatid, uh, marami pa rin mga temptations, right? Marami pa rin mga, mga, mga factors na pwedeng humila sa atin palayo sa Diyos. Yes, we are, we are already saved. Ang ating spirito, kapatid, ay buhay, amen? At alam natin na tayo ay ligtas. Pero habang tayo ay nandito sa mundo, tayo ay nakikipaglaban pa rin. You know, we're still battling with our flesh. And we're still battling with our mind, with our emotion, with our feelings. At ang Diyos, siya ay nag-provide, kapatid. Siya ay nag-provide ng way para ma-overcome natin yung pagnanasa ng ating laman, yung mga negatibong, negatibong uh, pumapasok sa ating kaisipan. Ang Diyos, kapatid, siya ay nag-provide. Because yung kaligtasan na tinanggap natin mula sa Kanya, hindi lang ito kalag- kaligtasan ng ating kaluluwa na one day pupunta tayo sa langit. Amen? Hallelujah. But, but I believe na yung kaligtasan na binigay sa atin ng, ng Diyos, ito ay wholeness. Ibig sabihin, ah, ito ay para sa lahat ng area ng buhay natin. Gusto ng Diyos na tayo ay iligtas niya. And, and ngayong hapon na ito, mga kapatid, habang ating pag-uusapan, paano ba natin ma-overcome yung anger? You know, kalooban ng Diyos na tayo ay hindi mabuhay na merong galit sa puso natin. Right? Now, I know lahat tayo dito kapatid, naranasan na natin at some point, at some point of our life, naranasan na rin natin magalit. Amen? And siguro nagalit tayo because of, of something happened, unfavorable situation na, 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 na nakasalamuha natin, or even mga tao. Minsan di ba meron, meron tayong tao na nagalit tayo sa kanya, Siguro dahil meron siyang ginawang hindi maganda sa atin. So, at some point of our life, lahat tayo dito ay nakaka-relate. Lahat tayo dito, kapatid, ay naranasan natin na tayo ay magalit. Pero hindi kalooban ng Diyos, kapatid, na tayo ay mabuhay na merong galit sa puso natin. Amen? I believe na kalooban ng Diyos na tayo ay mabuhay ng malaya. Alam nyo, napakasarap mabuhay na alam mo sa puso mo na malaya ka. Right? Na, na wala sa buhay mo, wala sa puso mo na, na something na nagiging dahilan para mapalayo ka sa Panginoon, mapalayo ka sa kalooban ng Diyos. Because really, the, the truth is, anger in itself is not actually sin. Alright? 
Pero kapag hinayaan natin na yung galit natin ang siyang kumontrol sa atin, mga kapatid, then yan ay magbubunga ng kasalanan. Alright? At yun ay hindi kalooban sa atin ng Diyos. That's why we need to live with a humble heart. We need to, to live with a gentle spirit. Meekness. Di ba? Sabi po dito, mapalat ang mapagkumbaba. Blessed are blessed Blessed are those who are meek because they will inherit the, the, the earth. And what is meekness, mga kapatid? Ano ba yung meekness? You see, meekness is essentially an attitude or quality of the heart whereby a person is willing to accept and submit without resistance to the will and desire of someone else. Now, sa buhay natin, kapatid, yung merong pinaka-authority sa buhay natin ay ang Diyos. Hindi yung ating sarili. Because in and of ourselves, mga kapatid, tayo ay limitado lang. Limitado yung ating pag-iisip, limitado yung ating abilidad, limitado even yung, yung, yung the way tayo na mag decision minsan tayo ay nagkakamali. Alright? So kung meron ng authority na mataas sa buhay natin, or kung meron ng boses na dapat nating mas pinakikinggan, ito yung boses ng Diyos. Siya yung merong authority sa buhay natin. At, sa, at, at, at nice kalooban ng Diyos na tayo ay, gusto ng Diyos, kapatid, na tayo ay mag-submit sa Kanya. The Bible says, submit to God, resist the devil, and the devil will free, flee from you. Because yung galit, kapatid, yan ay ginagawang kasangkapan ng kaaway upang ikaw ay kanyang dayain. Amen? Ginagamit ng kaaway yung galit upang ikaw ay ilayo sa kalooban ng Diyos. And so, kailangan kapatid ang buhay natin, mas pinakikinggan natin yung boses ng Diyos. Hindi yung boses ng kaaway, hindi yung boses ng ating sarili, hindi boses ng galit, kundi yung boses ng banal na Espiritu. I like it na nung ating tinanggap ang Panginoon, sabi ng Bible, ang banal na Espiritu ay dumating at siya ay nanahan sa iyo at sa akin. Siya'y nanahan sa ating mga puso. Sa ating mga buhay, kapatid. You know, there's a verse, I forgot, the, I forgot yung verse, but it says there, you know, walk in, in the Spirit. If you walk in the Spirit, you will not gratify the lust of the flesh. So, kalooban ng Diyos, kapatid, na tayo ay lumakad ayon sa gabay ng banal na Espiritu. At kapag yun ay ginawa natin, kapatid, pag hinayaan natin na ang banal na Espiritu ang siyang mag-guide sa atin dito sa buhay na ito, even in, even in our life decision natin sa buhay natin, kapatid, you know, magiging maayos tayo. Because the Bible says that the Holy Spirit will only lead us into all truth. Sa katotohanan, kapatid, hindi sa, hindi sa uh, da, ka, kadayaan ng kaaway. Alright? And And kapag tayo ay lumalakad sa gabay ng banal na Espiritu, ano bang ibig sabihin ng kapatid? Kapag ang isang tao ay lumalakad ayon sa gabay ng banal na Espiritu, ibig sabihin, yung tao na yun ay lumalakad ayon sa kalooban ng Diyos sa buhay niya. Amen? At paano natin malalaman? How do we know if we are walking in God's will? Paano ba natin malalaman na tayo ay lumalakad? sa kalooban ng Diyos, kung ating ipinapamuhay ang bawat salita na ating naririnig at natatanggap mula sa Diyos. Come on! Tayo ay lumalakad sa kalooban ng Diyos kapag ginagawa natin kung ano yung sinasabi niya. Kaya pag sinabi ng Diyos, magpatawad ka, magpatawad ka kapatid. Amen! Hallelujah! Pag sinabi ng Diyos na, na tayo mag, magpakumbaba, kapatid, magpakumbaba tayo. Because everything na ginagawa o sinasabi sa atin ng Diyos, ito ay para sa ating ikabubuti. Amen? Hallelujah! Because yung, yung galit, kapatid, maraming dahilan para, you know, a lot of things that can trigger you to fall into something that is not good. Yung, 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 uh, yung galit, kapatid, it can trigger you to fall into something that is not good or kasalanan. That's why we need to we need to we need to know how to deal with this kind of negative emotion. Yes. 
Anger is a negative emotion. Ito ay hindi kalooban sa atin ng Diyos. Amen? And kapag hindi natin nabantayan ito, kapatid, pwede itong magdulot ng hindi maganda sa buhay natin. Alright? Pwede itong magdulot ng, ng, ng negatibong bagay sa buhay natin. Hallelujah. You know, in Ephesians chapter 4, buksan po natin yung ating mga Biblia dito sa Ephesians chapter 4, verse 31 to 32. Sabi dito, Alisin na ninyo ang lahat ng sama ng loob, puot at galit. Huwag na kayong mambubulyaw, manlalait, at mananakit ng damdamin ng kapwa. Sa halip, maging mabait kayo, May mga mabait ba dito na Kristiyano? Amen. Hallelujah. Maging mabait kayo at maunawain at mapagpatawad kayo sa isa't isa tulad ng pagpapatawad sa inyo ng Diyos dahil kay Kristo. So tatlong bagay kapatid na dapat nating bantayan. Sama ng loob, puot at galit. Magkakapatid yan. <laughs> Magkakapatid yang tatlo na yan, sama ng loob. And, and tayo, you know, bilang mga tao, wala pa naman tayo sa langit, kapatid, you know, tayo, minsan nagkakasala pa rin tayo, at minsan nadadala tayo ng, ng sama ng loob. ba? Meron ka sama ng loob sa kapwa mo, may, meron ka sigurong sama ng loob sa kaibigan mo. So you, we need to deal with that. Even yung puot, kapatid. What is puot in English? Hatred. Puot, no? Hatred. ba? Kapag hindi mo binantayin yung sama ng loob mo, magiging hatred yan eh. Na, na kahit saan ka pumunta, pag naiisip mo yon, yung galit, bu- lumalabas. Yung puot, lumalabas. ba? So hindi ka looban ng Diyos na tayo ay mamuhay na merong sama ng loob, merong puot or galit. Bagkos ka looban ng Diyos na tayo ay maging mabait. Amen? Tayo maging maunawain at tayo ay maging mapagpatawad. Hallelujah. So, so anger is a negative emotion that can destroy you if you don't control it or get rid of it. Alright? So, yung, yung galit kapatid, ito ay produkto ng emosyon. At itong emosyon na to kapatid, pag hindi natin to kinontrol at pag hindi, we do, if we don't get rid of it, sisirain nito yung buhay natin. Amen? And hindi ka looban ng Diyos na masira yung buhay natin. You know, kung meron mang nagdi-desire na masira yung buhay mo, it's not God. It's the devil. Because that's one of his main agenda sa buhay mo. The Bible says in John 10, uh, verse 10, the enemy came only to steal, kill, and destroy. Yun yung plano sa'yo ng kaaway. That's why ginagamit niya yung galit bilang, bilang, bilang kasangkapan upang sirain yung buhay mo. But thanks be to God, we know the word. Amen? We know the truth. And the Bible says, kapag alam natin ng katotohanan, yung katotohanan yung magpapalaya sa atin. Come on! Gusto mong maging malaya sa taon na ito, kapatid? Hallelujah! Isuko mo sa Diyos yung galit na meron ka. Amen? Maybe you're, you're joining us, you're watching uh, this afternoon, at merong area sa buhay mo, na, or merong puot, or merong sama ka ng loob sa puso mo. Maaring sa nangyari sa'yo before, or maybe sa nagawa sa iyo ng ibang tao or minsan sa nagawa ng isang tao na malapit sa iyo you know what the best thing to do is to surrender it to the lord the best thing to do is to ask god to give you that forgiving heart kasi si lord nagpatawad siya amen amen imagine that kapatid hindi natin deserve yung kapatawaran actually deserve natin yung punishment Deserve natin dahil sa ating kasalanan, dahil sa ating disobedience sa Panginoon. Deserve natin na tayo ay maparusahan. Pero hindi kapatid, dahil sa pag-ibig ng Diyos. Hallelujah. Hindi lang niya tayo pinatawad, binago pa niya yung buhay natin. And so hindi galaw pa ng Diyos na tayo ay mabuhay na merong galit. You see, pag galit ka, marami kang nagagawang bagay na hindi ka aya-aya. Right? or behavior na you don't usually practice. Pero kapag galit ka, bigla na lang siyang lalabas, <laughs> di ba? Like like you you have a tendency to to yell, 
di ba? Minsan, nap- napapasigaw tayo kapag galit tayo. Sino rito? You know, Anes, so yung sabi na kapag minsan, sa- minsan sa buhay mo, nung nagalit ka, sumigaw ka. <laughs> Ay, mga magulang, di ba? Minsan, pag sobrang pasaway yung mga anak, minsan nasisigawan natin yan, di ba? <laughs> Pero hindi naman natin araw-araw sinisigawan yung ating mga anak or ibang tao. But because of this negative emotion, nasisigawan natin, di ba? Ano ba? Ano pa yung nangyayari kapag uh, uh, tayo ay nagagalit? Di ba? You, sometimes you start throwing things. Di ba? Lali, pag mag-asawa, pag nag-aaway, minsan na, napapanood natin sa mga telebisyon at nangyayari din to sa tunay na buhay. Di ba? Nag, nag, uh, nagbabatuhan ng plato, <laughs> nagbabatuhan ng baso, kaya every month bago yung pinggan eh. Every month bago yung baso. <laughs> So, and then what else? And the worst is, you start hurting other people. I think that's the worst. When you allow anger to rule your life, you will start hurting other people. And not just other people. Actually, you, you will also hurt yourself. Diba? Minsan, nasasaktan mo din yung sarili mo. Naiinis ka eh. <laughs> At minsan, dahil inis na inis ka, o oh, wala ka sigurong mapagbunto na ng galit mo. Minsan, yung sarili mo eh. Minsan, sinisisi mo yung sarili mo. Now, understand this, mga kapatid. Yes, we are redeemed by the Lord. Yes, we are already saved, but we're not yet perfect. Nagkakamali pa rin tayo, mga kapatid. Amen? Nagkakasala pa rin tayo. Pero salamat sa Diyos dahil pinapatawad niya tayo, kapatid. So, don't be too hard to yourself. Actually, give yourself a break, ah. Give yourself a break. We're still a work in progress. But, we need to deal with some things in our life. Especially kapag yung isang bagay na yan sa area ng buhay mo ay nagiging dahilan upang hindi tayo makalakad ayon sa kalooban ng Diyos sa buhay natin. You know, I remember when, when I was still young, um, sabi ko nga sa inyo, uh, ako yung pinakapasaway sa aming magkakapatid. And witness yan, yung kuya ko nandito. Uh, minsan pag nag-aaway ka, naalala ko to ah, nag-aaway kami ni kuya. And nung nag-aaway, hindi ko na matandaan kung ano yung pinag namin, pero nag-aaway kami. Siyempre, di ba pag puro kay lalaki, suntukan. <laughs> Minsan nagsusuntukan kayo. Nagsusuntukan kayo kapag uh, meron kayong alitan or or parang sa, hindi pagkakaunawaan. So, I, I can still remember that day na nasa bahay kami. Na parang, alam mo yun, sobrang galit siguro. Sa galit siguro, hindi, na, hindi, ko na, hindi ko na makontrol yung sarili ko. Alam mo, ginawa ko, pinag, parang suntok, sinuntok, suntok ko yung kuya ko. <laughs> Tapos, yung kuya ko, wala lang. Hindi siya nagbalik ng suntok sa akin. Alam mo, ang ginawa niya, sa sobrang galit niya, at sa sobrang ayaw niya siguro nasaktan ako, sinuntok niya yung pader. <laughs> sinuntok niya yung pader. And, 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 you know, isang bagay doon ang nakita ko na kahit nagalit na galit na yung kuya ko, alam ko na mahal niya ako. Alam ko na gusto niya akong protektahan. Kaya sinuntok na lang niya yung, yung pader. Imagine that. Talaga, I honor my, 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 my eldest brother, yung, yung panganay namin na kapatid. Talagang, actually, he's one of the, siya yung isa sa pinaka, I think, pinaka mabait na tao na pwede mo makilala. Napakabait. And actually, he is full of wisdom. Uh, I learned a lot of things from him. And I honor him. Love you, brother. <laughs> Amen. So, minsan ganun kapatid, pag nagagalit tayo, minsan hindi natin alam yung ginagawa natin. Marirealize na lang natin after. Di ba? Minsan kapag nagalit ka, tapos nakagawa ka ng isang bagay, sa huli, doon mo lang mari, ay, mali pala yung ginawa ko. Why? Because you allow your flesh, you allow that anger to rule your, your life. You see, kapag hinayaan natin kapatid na yung, yung galit ay irul tayo, it will never ever serve us well in life. So we need to get rid of it. Alright? We need to deal with it kapatid. And hindi natin to kayang mapagtagumpayan kapag ginamit din natin is yung ating flesh. 
Amen? It's very clear in the Word. The Bible says, if you walk in the Spirit, you shall not gratify the lust of the flesh. Pag lumalakad ka sa naayon sa gabay ng banal na Espiritu, then mapagtatagumpayan mo yung bagay na yan. Yung negative emotion na yan. Amen? Because kapag tayo ay, pag sinabi natin, like what I said a while ago, pag tayo lumalakad sa banal, lumalakad ayon sa gabay ng banal na Espiritu, tayo ay lumalakad sa, kanyang, sa kalaoban ng Diyos. At paano tayo lalakad sa kalaoban ng Diyos? Sa pamagitan ng kanyang salita. So, kailangan natin ang salita ng Diyos. That's why the Bible says, renew your mind. Lagi natin i-renew yung ating mga kaisipan, kapatid. Kasi, um, yung ating kaisipan, kapatid, ay, ay pwedeng maging dahilan upang tayo ay makontrol ng mga negative emotions. Now, understand this, emotion is good. It's actually a gift from God. Alright? Pero kailangan salain mo, kapatid, amen, yung emosyon na lumalabas sa'yo. Because not, not all emotions that you have ay gusto at kalooban ng Diyos para sa buhay mo. Alright? Because sometimes your emotion is up here, sometimes your emotion is, is down here. So you cannot trust your emotion. You need to trust your spirit. You need to trust the leading, the guidance of the Holy Spirit in your life. And you need the Word of God. Because the, the, the Spirit and the Word, they go together. Hindi sila pwedeng maghiwalay, kapatid. And so kung gusto natin na yung buhay natin ay maging maayos, maging maganda, merong kalayaan, kapatid, hallelujah, then hayaan natin ang salita ng Diyos, ang siyang manaig, hindi yung salita natin. Amen? Hindi yung nararamdaman natin. Kasi minsan yung nararamdaman natin, pwede tayong dayain yan. Pero let me tell you, yung sinasabi ng Diyos sa pamamagitan ng Kanyang salita, kailanman hindi tayo dinadaya. Kundi, mas lalong pinapabuti nito yung buhay natin, yung buhay mo. Amen? At yung relasyon mo sa ibang tao. Now, what, I, what are the result of anger? Ano ba yung mga result ng anger? Alright? So, in, in, in Proverbs chapter 19, verse 19, sabi dito, di dapat pansinin ang taong mainit ang ulo. Mapayuhan mo, mo, mo mang minsan, <laughs> Tagalog, no? patuloy ding manggugulo. <laughs> di ba? Pag ganito yan eh, result ng anger, di ba? Ah, mainit ang ulo mo. Hindi ka makausap. Right? Di ba? Pag ganito, minsan, minsan isa sa mga resulta kapag ka, uh, tawag doon kapag ka ikaw ay, ay galit, Di ba, minsan, uh, tawag doon, mainit na mainit ang ulo mo. At dahil mainit na mainit ang ulo mo, kung sino yung makita mo na, na tao, minsan, yun ang, yun ang pagbabalingan mo. Di ba? So, hindi ka looban ng Diyos na tayo ay maging mainitin ang ulo. Kasi walang, nang, walang mangyayaring maganda kapag hinayaan natin, hinayaan mo na, tawag doon, hinayaan mo na, 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 na yung init ng ulo mo yung mamayani. Kasi, Gulo talaga yung magiging bunga niyan. Eh, mainit na ulo, magulong buhay. <laughs> Amen? Gusto mo ng mabuting buhay, kailangan may maayos ka <laughs> na ulo. <laughs> Amen? Ano sabi ko dito? Alright. Another thing is in Job chapter 19 verse 29. Kayo sana ay mag-ingat sa talim nitong tabak na siyang maghahatid ng parusa sa kasalanan upang inyong malamang may hahatol nga sa wakas. Yun nga kapatid, kapag galit tayo, minsan meron tayo nang sasabi, di ba? Na mga salita na hindi maganda. Ako nung hindi pa ako kristyano, ang daming lumalabas sa bibig ko na hindi maganda. And minsan kapatid, yung mga salita na lumalabas sa ating mga bibig ay naging dahilan upang tayo ay makasakit ng damdamin ng ibang tao. Right? And minsan kapag galit na galit ka, minsan yun nga, nasasabi mo, nakakasabi ka, nakapagsalita ka ng, ng mga bagay na hindi maganda sa kapwa mo. At kapatid, pag nasabi mo na yun, hindi mo na pwedeng, ip, hindi mo na pwedeng ano yan, hugutin pabalik. <laughs> Di ba? Pag nasabi mo na yan, nasabi mo na yan. At pag may nasaktan ka, kapatid, masasaktan mo talaga siya. So we need to Watch our mouth. We need to, you know, that's why self-control is very important. 
that's the fruit of the spirit. Yan ay bunga ng banal na espiritu kapatid. Kapag kapag galit kapag galit ka, wag mong hayaan na yung bibig mo ay gamitin. Amen. Maging kasangkapan ng kaaway para ma, 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 masira mas ma, or masira masi, masira yung ibang tao or masaktan mo yung damdamin ng ibang tao. Allow that self-control, that fruit of the spirit to also rule your life. Amen. Maging Ah, uh, mapagtimpi. Tama ba yung Tagalog term ko? Self mapagtimpi kapatid. All right. Hallelujah. And then also in Proverbs chapter 14 verse 16, it says, "Ang taong may una ma, may unawa ay lumalayo sa kasamaan, ngunit ang mangmang, thank God, walang mangmang dito kapatid." Amen. Hallelujah. Tayo ay merong wisdom na galing sa Diyos. Ngunit ang mangmang ay napapahamak dahil sa kapabayaan. Yung sige kapag ka, yun nga kapag ka inaahayaan mo na yung galit, ang siyang kumontrol sa buhay mo. Minsan hindi mo alam, yung hindi mo alam na yung ginagawa mo pala hindi na tama. 'Di ba? Sa iyo, feeling feeling mo, you know, feeling mo na yung ginagawa mo ay tama. Pero ma-realize mo na lang siya after, you know, after na hindi pala siya tama. Diba? Marilis mo na lang after na mali pala yung ginawa ko, mali pala yung naging... Because most of the time, kapag tayo ay nagagalit, na, minsan ang unang nagre-react yung flesh natin. Right? Yung, yung, yung flesh natin. And we, we, we lose to actually respond the right way. Because wala eh, nauna na yung, nauna na yung flesh natin eh. Right? So we need to we need to deal with that mga kapatid. Huwag nating hayaan. All right? Na makagawa tayo ng isang bagay na sa dulo ay alam mo 'yon? Pagsisisihan natin. Another thing is this in in Proverbs 29 verse 22, ang taong magagalitin ay laging napapasok sa gulo. 'Yun nga gulo. 'Di ba? Lagi nakikipag-away dahil sa init ng ng ulo. Nag-i-stress siya ng strife. Yung anger, kapatid, nagiging, nagiging dahilan upang magkaroon ng kaguluhan. And hindi ka looban ng Diyos, kapatid, na tayo ay maging punot dulo or maging kasangkapan ng strife. Because strife is not from the Lord. Amen? Hindi ito galing sa Panginoon. That's why yung anger, minsan yun yung naging dahil lang, dahil, kaya merong mga wars, merong, merong fighting, merong killings. Alright? Merong rat. It's because of anger, because of the root of anger. Now, there's what we call spiritual anger. Alright? And spiritual ang- anger is not there to destroy you. It's there to actually protect you like Jesus Christ. I think he's, he's our best example. Amen? Si Jesus, na Diyos na nagkatawang tao, naranasan niya kapatid na magalit din. Pero, hindi siya nagkasala. Amen? Alam mo, pwede, kang, pwede ka actually na magalit eh. Pwede kang magalit because of injustice. Pwede kang magalit because of poverty. Right? Pwede kang magalit sa kaaway. Alam mo kung meron ka dapat na magalit, kung gusto mong magalit, magalit ka sa kaaway, magalit ka kay, kay Taning. <laughs> magalit ka sa Jablo. Sa devil. Right? Kasi sinis- ang dami niyang sinisirang buhay. And thanks be to God, by the grace of God, by the love of Jesus Christ, nalik- niligtas tayo ng Panginoon mula sa tanikala ng kaaway, mula sa pangaalipin. Amen? Panggugulo ng kaaway. So kung gusto mong magalit, magalit ka sa kaaway. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Pero wag kang magalit sa kapwa mo. Wag kang magalit sa Diyos. And sometimes yun ang nag- the worst thing is minsan kapag galit na galit na tayo at minsan nagagalit din tayo kay Lord. Nagagalit tayo sa Diyos. Kapag hindi natin kaaway ang Diyos. Hindi mo kaaway ang Diyos. Ang Diyos kakampi mo. Amen. Kakampi mo siya sa lahat nang nangyayari sa buhay mo. And yes, sometimes, kinokorek tayo ng Panginoon. Pero yun ay ginagamit ng Diyos upang mas lalong mapabuti yung buhay natin. Amen? That's why binabago tayo ng Diyos. 
Araw-araw, kapatid, binabago tayo ng Diyos. That's why kung meron ka mang galit, kapatid, sa, sa buhay mo or sa puso mo, hayaan mo na ang Diyos ay baguhin ka. Hayaan mo na tanggalin ng Diyos yung galit sa puso mo. At hayaan mo na ang pag-ibig niya. Hayaan mo na punuin ka niya. Yakapin ka niya ng kanyang pag-ibig. Amen? Hallelujah. So, so how do we deal? So, how to deal with anger? Ano ba natin ito, kapatid? Uh, paano ba natin ito ma-overcome? How do we get rid of it? Alright? Like what I said, si Jesus, naranasan niyang maggalit, pero hindi siya nagkasala. Alright? So, how do we deal with anger? You know, number one, and you can write this down, do not let your anger turn to sin. Huwag mong hayaan na yung galit, kapatid, ay maging kasalanan. In Ephesians chapter 4, verse 26 to 27, sabi dito, kung magagalit man kayo, iwasan ninyo ang kayo'y magkasala. Huwag ninyong hayaang lumubog ang araw na galit pa rin kayo. Huwag ninyong bigyan ng pagkakataon ang jablo. Look at that. Look at this verse. This is very practical advice, practical, you know, spiritual wisdom. Na kung magagalit ka man, huwag mong hayaan na maging kasalanan siya. Huwag kang magpadala sa iyong emosyon. Sa, huwag kang magpadala dyan sa negative emotion mo na yan. Learn how to respond the right way. That's why we need to have a right attitude towards this kind of negative emotion. We need to build an attitude. Amen? We need to build a character that will counter this kind of uh, negative emotion. This anger na hindi ka looban ng Diyos sa buhay mo at sa buhay ko. Hallelujah. Huwag mong hayain na lumabog ang araw na galit pa rin kayo. Amen? Amin dito. Yes, may, may point na magagalit ka, pero I pray na we will learn how to respond the right way. And how do we respond the right way, kapatid? Hindi natin siya lalabanan ng one-on-one. <laughs> I mean, hindi natin siya, oh, sige, Galit ka sa akin, galit na rin ako sa'yo. <laughs> Tabla na tayo. Hindi, hindi ganun, kapatid. No. That's why it's very important that we learn how to forgive. Sometimes, kailangan matutunan natin na patawarin unang sarili natin. That's why, like, like what I said kanina, don't be too hard to yourself. Yes, we're still human, kapatid. We're still a work in progress. Learn to forgive yourself. And learn to forgive other people. Right? Now, it's true na may mga tao talaga na hindi ka magugustuhan. <laughs> right? May mga tao na ayaw sa'yo. And it's okay. It's, it's okay. You know, you cannot please everyone. But you have a choice to do good to everyone that you know. To everyone in, 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 in your life. Yes, maring hindi kanya gusto, pero pwede mo siyang gawa ng mabuti. And I think that's that's maturity. When someone did something wrong to you, and still you are able to respond the right way, still you are able to forgive. I think that's Jesus' character. Imagine that when, when Jesus was hung on the cross, he was bullied, he was mocked, but yet, Jesus didn't curse them. They actually pray, he actually prayed to his Father. At ang sabi niya, Lord, patawarin mo itong mga tao na to, kasi hindi nila alam yung sinasabi nila. And that's something that I believe gusto ng Diyos, kapatid, na maging 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 lifestyle din natin. Every time na tayo ay, ay, ay harap sa isang sitwasyon na pwede tayong magalit. But hey, I know the Word. I know what the Word says. And I know my God. I know Jesus. 
na siya ay nagpapatawad. So wag nating hayaan kapatid na yung anger ay maging kasalanan. Amen. Patubo pa lang, tabasin mo na. <laughs> Patubo pa lang, tabasin mo na yung ugat. All right. <laughs> Hallelujah. You see, when when you're faced with temptation, know that God already provided escape for you. Amen? Si Lord, nag, nag-provide na siya ng escape, ng way, para ma, ma-overcome mo yung temptation, like yung galit na yan. Sabi sa 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13, wala pang pagsubok na dumating sa inyo na hindi naranasan ng lahat ng tao. Tapat ang Diyos. Hindi niya hahayaan na subukin ka ng higit sa iyong makakaya bagkos pagdating ng pagsubok, bibigyan ka niya ng lakas upang mapagtagumpayan iyon. And I'm here to tell you that you can overcome that anger. You can get rid of that anger because yung grasya ng Lord ay nasa iyo, kapatid. And if you will just open your heart to God, and you, if, kung sasabihin mo lang na Lord, Ikaw na ang siyang manguna sa buhay ko. Sa bawat desisyon na gagawin ko sa buhay ko, nais ko na ikaw ang mag-guide, mag-lead sa akin. Ang iyong salita ang mag-lead sa akin. Let me tell you this, ma-overcome mo yan. Amen? But you have to surrender it to the Lord. Isuko mo sa Panginoon. Hallelujah. Romans chapter 12. Verse 21. Tama dito, huwag kayong magpata- magpadaig sa masama, kundi daigin ninyo ng mabuti ang masama. Amen? Number two, deal with the root. Deal with the source of that anger. And so many times, what really causes us to always fall into anger? Sometimes because of failed expectations or unmet desires. Minsan kaya nagagalit tayo kasi napoprostrate tayo. Naranasan mo na bang maprostrate? Amen? Lahat tayo naranasan natin maprostrate. And if I will give a definition to frustration, frustration is the result is the result of an of failed expectation. That's frustration. Failed expectations, unmet desires, and because of that, hindi ka na mapakale. Hindi mo na alam yung gagawin mo. Tagpapatala ka na sa emotion. So anger can start small. It can start as frustration. And then the next thing you know, may sama ka na ng loob. <laughs> next thing you know, meron ka ng pot. Next thing you know, galit ka na. Next thing you know, hindi ka na makausap. Next, next thing you know, you're, you're started to murmur. You started to complain. And you started to do things na alam mo na hindi naman tama eh pero dahil nagpaudyok ka sa sinasabi ng iyong laman o sinasabi ng iyong emosyon minsan natatalo tayo doon na, napapadala tayo doon na fall tayo doon but I'm here to, tie, to tell you this brothers and sisters yes sometimes we'll fall into anger but you have a choice to whether re- respond or to whether react or respond the right way. Because the truth is, when, when, when we talk about expectations, when we talk about that, you know, may mga bagay sa buhay natin na hindi, na, hindi natin mamimit yung na-expect natin. Or even yung expectation ng ibang tao, minsan hindi mo naman mamimit yan eh. Or sometimes, even yung expectation ng Diyos sa atin, minsan nag-fail tayo. Minsan hindi natin siya nagagawa. That's why, sabi ko kanina, give yourself a break. Lahat tayo kapatid, nagkakamali pa rin. Lahat tayo, minsan, 
Na, nag-fall tayo into that. Well, learn to, like what I said, learn to forgive yourself. And don't blame God. Don't blame other people. Especially the Lord. He wants the best for you. And He wants you to live freely. Amen. Free from anger. Free from hate. Free from those negative emotions, those negative feelings that will only lead you into something that will ruin your life. But allow the Spirit of God. Amen. Allow the Word of God. That's why the Bible says, renew your mind. Set your mind on things above. Not on, not things on this world. Because there's so many voices in this world. There's the voice of the enemy. There's the voice of your flesh. There's the voice of the world. Uh, Colossians chapter 3, verse 2 to 3. Ang mga bagay na panlangit ang isa- isip ninyo, hindi ang mga bagay na panlupa. Sapagkat, kayo'y namatay, sapagkat namatay na kayo at ang inyong tunay na buhay ay natatago sa Diyos kasama ni Kristo. When you are faced with that kind of temptation na pwede kang magalit, st- stop for a while. Relax. Amen? And remember who you are. Now, you're no longer that old self. You're no longer that person before. You are a changed man. You have a new heart. You have a new spirit. And yes, you can walk in freedom. You can walk in holiness. You can walk in godliness because God, the Holy Spirit, lives inside of you. And He's always there ready to guide you and lead you into all truth. Lastly, and this is where I want to end, remain in God's love. Want to overcome anger? The best way to deal with it is allow the love of God to reign in your life. Imagine when you are moved with love, when you are filled with God's love, it's going to be easy for you to forgive yourself and to forgive other people. Even if gawan ka nila ng masama. Why? Because alam mo na mahal ka ng Diyos. Yung pag-ibig niya ay nasa iyo. Dahil alam mo na si Jesus, pinatawad ka niya. Amen? Pinatawad ka niya. He's our, we have a loving Father. Imagine that God sent His Son. He sent His Word. Not His wrath. Amen? Hindi yung judgment yung pinadala niya. Pinadala niya yung salita. Alam natin yung salita si Jesus. Jesus came not to judge us, not to condemn us of our sin, not to, not to, not to judge us. He came to save us. He came to give us life and life abundantly. You know that word life in that verse in John chapter 10 verse 10? It's so we life. God kind of life. Meaning, when you say you have a God kind of life, you have, you have the, the nature of God was imparted to you. But it's your choice whether you want that nature. That you, it's up to you whether you want to operate in that nature. Amen? And I pray that you choose to operate in that nature. I pray that you choose to, you want to grow, you want to mature, you want. Sabi ng Lord in Philippians, uh, Philippians chapter 2, verse 5, I think, let your attitude be the same of that of Jesus Christ. Maging katulad natin yung attitude ng Diyos. Napagamat siya'y Diyos, siya'y nagpakumbaba. Amen. Hindi niya hinayaan kapatid yung galit ng mamayani sa puso niya. Kundi kapatid, siya ay nagpatawad. And his motivation is love. Colossians chapter 3 verse 12 to 15. Kaya nga dahil kayo hinirang ng Diyos, minamahal niya 
at pinili para sa Kanya, dapat kayo, kayong maging mahabagin, mabait, mapagpakumbaba, mahinahon, at mapagtiis. Mapagpasensya kayo sa isa't isa at mag, magpatawad kayo kung may hinanakit kayo kanino man. Magpatawad kayo gaya ng pagpapatawad sa inyo ng Panginoon. At higit sa lahat, Oh, I love this. At higit sa lahat, magmahalan kayo. Sapagkat ang pag-ibig ang buklod ng ganap na pagkakaisa. Pagharian ninyo sa inyong puso ang kapayapaang kaloob ni Kristo. Sapagkat iyan ang dahilan kung bakit kayo tinawag sa iisang katawan. At magpasalamat kayo lagi. Have that attitude of gratitude. Amen. You're, you're, you're grateful. Amen. Ikaw ay nagpapasalamat sa Panginoon. Na kahit minsan hindi maganda nangyayari, marunong ka pa rin magpasalamat. Hindi ka nagpapasalamat dahil sa masamang bagay na nangyayari, kundi nagpapasalamat ka dahil alam mo na ang Diyos ay tutulong sa'yo. Amen. Sa lahat ng panahon at sa lahat ng pagkakataon, Siya ay kasama mo. Amen. Hallelujah. So that so don't let your anger, so don't let anger rule your heart. Rule your mind because if it does, it can ruin your life. And don't be too quick to judge people. Right? Minsan may nakikita tayo, minsan sa appearance pa lang, minsan mapapansin mo na, ang grabe, parang ang kasi mangot lagi itong tao. Parang laging galit, di ba? Meron pa yung taong kilala na pag nakita mo parang laging laging galit, lagi na kasi mangot. You know, don't be quick to judge people because you don't know maybe something happened in his life. Pray for them. Amen? Pray for them. Ask God to visit that person. Amen? Ask God to fill that person with love. And I will I will end with this in 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 17. Now read this I will read this in English. It says here, honor all people. Love the brotherhood. Fear God. Honor the king. Humingi ako ng tulong sa kaibigan ko na si Miri, si Miriam Webster and because I'm trying to find the, defin- the definition for all and you know what I found out that all means all and it says here and it says here honor all people come on do you have that, that, that courage you have that will na regardless kung gaano ang tingin ng ibang tao na masama sa ibang tao or regardless of the yung, yung status ng tao na yan or sa anuman yung naging past ng tao na yan, I will honor that person. Why? Because it's very clear in His Word. It says honor all people, not honor some people. Come on. It says honor all people because everyone deserves honor. Amen? Na sila ay tao din kapatid. Sila ay anak din ng Diyos. Amen? So, lahat tayo kapatid. Hallelujah. Ini-encourage ng Lord to honor people, to love them. The best way to express your honor to someone is to is by loving that person. Amen? By loving, by choosing to love that person regardless No matter what, I will love that person. I will pray for that person. You know what? Hindi mo alam. Hindi mo lang natutulungan yung ibang tao, natutulungan mo rin sarili mo. Amen? Hallelujah. And fear God and honor the King. Patuloy na hayaan mo ng Diyos ang siyang mag-guide sa'yo. Na siya yung authority sa buhay mo. And honor the people, honor people na binigay sa'yo ng Diyos. Amen? Hallelujah. Well, I hope you receive something 
na meron ka pong narini, meron ka pong natanggap sa hapon na ito. Amen? Okay lang po ba na ako po'y manalangin sa inyo? Ay po'y manalangin. And if you are here, and maybe you're dealing with this, you're dealing with, with anger, or maybe hatred, you have something in you, and matagal na yan, na nasa, nasa puso mo, it's time to release that. It's time for you to be free. And so, let's pray to the Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, marami pong salamat sa hapon na ito. Salamat sa iyong salita na nagpapalaya sa amin, Panginoon, sapagkat ang iyong katotohanan, Lord, ay nagdadala sa amin sa kalayaan o Diyos. And Lord, right now, kami po'y nananalangin, Lord, at aming isinusuko sa iyo, Lord, ang aming mga buhay. And Lord, if there's an area in our life na kailangan namin isuko like this, This one, this anger, Lord, kung meron man kaming hinanakit, meron man kaming sama ng loob, meron man kaming puot or galit sa aming kapwa, Lord God, or even sa aming sarili, Lord God, hallelujah. Lord, thank you, Lord, for your love that now I understand how much you love us. And it is your love that will motivate us to forgive. It is your love that will motivate us to respond the right way when we are faced with this kind of temptation, Lord. Oh, we thank you for the joy of the Spirit to reign in our hearts, in our minds right now, Lord. Not anger, but joy in the name of Jesus. Freedom in the name of Jesus. Right now, receive it right now. You are free. You are free in the name of Jesus. Whom the Son sets free is free indeed. So receive God's love. Receive God's forgiveness. And allow the Spirit of God and His Word, the Word, to be your guiding principles in life. Whenever you are faced with anger, you know how to respond. Lord, we thank you. Continue to bless the listeners of your word. Bless their family as well. And protect them. Thank you for your protection. Thank you for the blood of Jesus that covers us all the time. And I thank you, Lord, na hindi mananaig ang galit sa puso namin. Because now we know how to respond. Salamat po. Panginoon, sa ipon namin binabalik ang pinakamataas sa papuloy pagsama sa tanging pangalan mo lamang, Jesus. Amen and Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. Maraming salamat, mga kapatid, sa inyong uh, pagsama uh, dito sa ating Tagalog service in behalf of our pastors, lahat po ng volunteers natin na nandito just to make this uh, services possible. We honor you guys for your commitment all the work that you're doing for the church. We love you, we honor you, and, and, and guys, we will see you again next Sunday for another amazing Home is Live Sunday service. God bless everyone.